Welcome back to Experiments with Sydney. Today we're going to be trying to make some underwater fireworks. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is tell you what you're gonna need for this experiment. You are going to need a tall clear glass, oil, a fork, maybe some spoons, some food coloring, which is in these bowls, and some room temperature water. Now, before we get started making our fireworks, I am going to just drop some of this food color in a glass of water so we can see what happens. So I'm just gonna take a little bit, and I'm gonna try to get about one to two drops. Your food coloring at home might be a little bit different than this. It might be in a little squeeze bottle. So we're gonna drop two drops in. One, two. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little cup to mix in and about two tablespoons of oil. All right, now that we have our oil, we're gonna put in about two drops of food coloring. Make sure when you're working with the food coloring that you're being kind of careful because it can stain your clothing. One, two. Now you're just gonna give it a little bit of a mix. You'll notice that it's probably not gonna mix like it did with the water. That's okay. So we've got it mixed and now it's a bunch of little pieces of food coloring. We're gonna take our cup and fill it most of the way with water. Now you're gonna take your oil mixture and you're gonna pour it into the water. So now you can see as they're coming down and breaking, it kind of looks like fireworks. So now we're gonna grab this cup that we had just water in and look at the difference between the cup with the oil in the food coloring and the cup with the water in the food coloring. So what is happening now is the food coloring won't mix with the oil like it mixes with the water. So when we pour the oil and food coloring in, it has little beads of food coloring and as they slowly sink and mix with the water, they're bursting like fireworks. Now we're gonna try and see what happens if we use two colors. So we're gonna get those two tablespoons of oil again and mix in the two colors of food coloring. All right, so now we have our two colors and we're gonna pour it in. So because the food coloring can't mix with the oil, we got two separate colors instead of all orange fireworks. It's pretty cool. I hope that you've had a great time doing these experiments with Sydney, and I hope to see you this summer at camp.